Welcome to Tales of a Sea Dog. My name is Tony Babb and my main categories are Norway and military history. Hear about the adventurous Vikings, the beautiful fjords, the amazing wildlife and their intrepid explorers. Military history include World War I, the Falklands and the Royal Navy. As well as my 16 talks, I have published three books. My first job was in 2013, and I have since spoken on P&O, Fred Olson, and Cunard. Princess Cruises selected me for two cruises in 2020. I'm a 1982 Falklands veteran and served for 23 years in the Royal Navy, being awarded the British Empire Medal. Now I'll share some of my slides with you. The Viking culture had been growing since the Ice Age. To us, they seemed to appear out of nowhere. Osman was their name, but we called them Vikings. Vik was their word for an inlet or a small bay. Viking was their term for a raid. They would go Viking. The creation of the beautiful part of Norway we know as the Fjordland was started over two million years ago. We see how the Ice Age manipulated the land to form them. Look at the different types of glaciers and explore the special folklore of the fjords and trolls. We had to manage without horses that went to war which is why Lizzie the Elephant was an astonishing sight on the streets of Sheffield. She was managed by a Yorkshire Mahout wearing his flat cap and carrying a goad. He is William Sedgwick, and he was also the daring and fearless lion tamer Alfonso. All circuses were closed, and this elephant from the Sangar Circus is ploughing a field in Surrey. This animal lover's talk has many enticing audio clips. Cats were on ships because of the rats. Listen to a sailor describing the astonishing performance of a cat on HMS Encounter. He'd walk about on the top of a 12-inch turret when the 12-inch guns were firing. He would, he, fur would stand right completely up on end and he'd just look around and see what was happening and never move. German submarine UC-44 is central to this lecture, as we see how she tragically sank herself with her own mine. Three crew managed to escape, but unfortunately the captain was the only survivor. And these are the moments before HMS Sheffield is hit in the Falklands conflict. The pilot saw HMS Glasgow fire her chap then changed targets to the right, released his missiles and left. And finally, I leave it to the magnificent king penguins in the Falklands to wave goodbye. Uh, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Curzon Theatre uh, for the final of your lectures uh, for this cruise. So just before we do get started, uh, I'd just like you to join me in a round of applause as a thank you for our fantastic guest speaker. <laughs> there we go, it's been working very hard this cruise, it's the only guest speaker, so it's done 11 lectures over the last 12 days, so very impressive. But for the final time, please welcome to the stage, Tony Babb. Thank you very much for that lovely introduction. So nice to be thanked, isn't it? Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome back, which is the last of this cruise. U-boat Enigmas, Royal Navy Salvage and Secrecy in World War I, was first presented in 2013 on Ventura. It has been an amazing 10-year journey, and I have thoroughly enjoyed it and especially this cruise. Thank you for viewing my show reel.